It's recording. Okay. Hey. Kiko is taking a nap. It is late. Everybody's tired. We just watched episode one. BGC 11, episode one. Um, so, Dad. What? <laughs> how did you like the first episode? Pretty good. <laughs> you didn't get your ass beat. That's, that's good. He's sleepy, so he's being very quiet. Too many beers earlier, I guess. Um, so yeah, we made a little bit of a list kind of what to talk about because that whole episode like hello It was all about me like the whole thing beginning to end like you see me they talk about me They want everything was about me, but um, anyway, so it was funny Tiana says something like I'm the boogeyman da 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 for one um, Nobody's scared of you and Secondly like everybody's saying on Twitter like the only reason she can call herself that because she looks scary But I mean whatever I didn't say it. That's what Twitter people said. So yeah Moving along. Um, what is this? Cool? What is this? Cool with me? I don't even know. I wrote these notes like two minutes ago and I don't even know how to read them. Dad, talk about something while I figure out what I wrote. You want me to read it to you. If you ain't Team Sarah, you're on the wrong team, though, I got to say. Right. Hashtag. And you'll find that out. So, <laughs> Team Sarah. Oh, by the way, did you see when I was like coming down the stairs and we were like, yeah, I had my little cute Snooky slippers on. They were like, the pink leopard, I know I was just so cute, like wearing my pajamas. And I pink snooky slippers. But yeah, so cool with me tells her if I'm rubbing. I don't even know. Okay, we're gonna have to skip to the next one because I still don't know what that means. Okay, the whole test gothic thing, I thought it was funny. Cause I first met her and like everybody turned on me. For one, like my hair used to be black, I shaved my head, I had 33 piercings, like I was gothic. I consider myself gothic, like there's nothing wrong with that. So Tess even says, because she thinks she's all, like, hood and stuff, Tell up, do you know what that means? They cut themselves, and da-da-da, like, look it up at Urban Dictionary. We should Google it. And I wish we would have Googled it in the house, but Tess didn't stay long enough because she left after five hours. So I Googled what goth was just to, like, prove the whole point because my best friend was like, no, that's a bad term. Okay, goth in the Urban Dictionary, which is what she told me to look up. Urban Dictionary, right? Someone who likes the darker side of things. They usually listen to death metal. Um, wait, okay. Marilyn Manson is not goth, da 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 Real goths are not depressing and not suicidal like the posers you see at Hot Topic. They're fun to be around and aren't afraid to laugh at themselves every so often. They don't worship the devil and they're not evil despite what some ignorant people might say. They don't all dress alike either. They like to create their own unique style. They are very intelligent and creative, and all of them, Dad, oh, all of them are writers and artists. They don't envy popular people. They are happy to be themselves. Okay, so this is the thing. Like, okay, yeah, you're not goth. The reason you're not goth is because you're not intelligent. You're not creative. I guess you don't create your own style. So, yeah, um, Tess, I do take it back. You're not goth because you're a dumbass. Okay, moving along. We talked a lot about Tess more than she was even in the house. Um, so, you know, I like Teresa, but I thought it was kind of funny when Teresa was talking to, like, Tess and stuff. She was like, I'm not going to be all, hey, and, like, giving hugs and da-da-da. But, like, when Jazz comes to the door, I'm the last person that comes to the door. And who's the first one? Teresa is the first one to greet her, gives Jag a hug. Jazz, Jag, gives Jazz a hug and was, like, all excited. So, okay, whatever. That was dumb. Dad. Jazz mom. Jazz mom. <laughs> Jazz <Jasmine. Mold. laughs> Whatever. I really liked Jazz at first. Um, so Teresa, da 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 da. Okay, so the whole you know coming to the house thing, whatever. Um, a lot of people don't even care. Like, yeah, the black girls missing. Like, whatever. What am I supposed to say? The girl in the black dress. Three bitches were wearing all black. Jazz was wearing all black. Teresa and Tess were wearing all black in the pictures. So what am I going to do? Say the girl in black is missing? No. Three bitches out of the seven are wearing all black. So that doesn't even make any sense. So the girl on the end, the black girl's missing. End of story. Right? Yeah, okay. you shouldn't be so racist, though. Shut up, Dad. <laughs> okay, so another thing about the whole... I know you know how editing is, whatever else. The whole, like, transvestite thing that was kind of funny. Um... Why did I say transvest? Like, I just said she's not a man. And we were having a whole conversation about, you know, how a lot of people want to be on Bad Girls Club. They lie and they say that they're casted and stuff. Well, the funny thing is, is that the real girls that are casted, they don't tell you that they're casted because we're not allowed to tell. So if anybody's telling you that they're casted, they're going on Bad Girls Club, 
More than likely they're not because we're not allowed to tell. So I remember right before I went on the show, it was like this, um, it was this boy who was dressed like a girl. So he wasn't like a transvestite because I think he still had like man parts, whatever. So he would say, I'm going on Bad Girls Club and da da da, and I'm going to be the first trainee on there and da 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 and all this other stuff. So we had a whole comment about how people lie and say they're going on the show. And we were like, could they ever put a man on the show? That's not right because if like a man hits you, it's still a man whether, you know what I mean? So it was a joke when she walked to the door. I said, oh my God, you're really pretty. And I was like, yeah, she's definitely not a man. So of course you just see she's definitely not a man. And um, anyways, I don't know. Too damn sensitive. <laughs> the girls are too sensitive. Dad is really... Hashtag so boring right now. So boring. Yeah, yeah, Kiko, okay. you didn't even do nothing. Kiko's asleep. Dad worked on a car but didn't fix it. And he washed the truck. And what else? So all I do is work. He's getting his tooth pulled tomorrow, so he's excited about that. It's been broken for years. Um... So sweet. Okay, so uh, King of Diamonds, we all went to King of Diamonds. It was funny because Mimi got like a hundred ones and like she kept putting them in her bra and she's like throwing money and stuff, but like literally she threw the same hundred dollars like for the two hours that we were there and then she has like sixty dollars left over. Like she's like fake throwing money and then she keeps putting the money back. Okay, next thing you know, like I didn't even hear the whole Jazz not having her money and Teresa spotted her anyway, so the conversation should have been done. But what really happened was Steph supposedly left her money too. So Mimi felt stupid for being like, oh, you didn't bring your money? Who doesn't bring your money? And Steph was like, oh, Mimi, I didn't bring my money either. So Mimi covers hers, whatever else. We get to the cab and, you know, I'm telling Jazz, I'm like so confused because it's like Mimi's putting it off on me. So like, Sarah, you got money and this, this, and this, like whatever. And I'm like, okay, for one, what are you talking about? Secondly, you're singing a song talking about I got Justin Bieber money. No, you don't. You don't have any. Justin Bieber didn't give you any money. He didn't even take you to dinner. So, no, you don't have Justin Bieber money. So, you're going to brag about money at the strip club. You're going to fake the $100. You're going to complain about tipping. And then you're going to call somebody out about leaving their money at home. And then you're going to put it off on me. And not only do you put it off on me, like, you don't even want to fight me yourself. Like, you tell Tiana and you got her all worked up because she's drunk thinking, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to confront Sarah. Like, Jazz was throwing up in the car ride home. She was so sick. Like... Me and Teresa were wiping the cab, um, like the doors off and stuff. We had to pull over and everything. And I was still like comforting her, like nobody thinks you're broke, nobody thinks this, nobody thinks that to help her get in the house. And of course, like all hell breaks loose. Like Mimi's instigating, Tiana thinks she's tough, like I got them hands. I don't think she said it when you guys saw it, whatever. She's like, I got them hands, sir, you ain't about that life, and da da da. And just, it was just really stupid. But um, I mean, I'm sure they're going to continue the fight on the next episode because that's like what Oxygen likes to do. Get her mouth away from me. I will fuck her up. <laughs> I will throw her ass on the floor and knock over this whole table. There you go. So, yeah, but anyways, you saw like pieces and clips, whatever. By the way, I won. We had like rounds and rounds of wrestling and I won every single one. I was choking her out. If you replay the first segment of us, um, the one on the floor, it's actually the third time. No, it's actually the fourth time. The first segment was actually the fourth round. And um, if you look closely, like when I was choking her, her head was down and her head came off the rug. So it was like on the concrete tile, whatever. And she was like jerking up so mad. She actually banged her own forehead into the tile twice. Like if I was a mean person, I wanted to fight. I really wanted to hurt you. Like all I barely would have done was like go like this. And like her fucking head would have been busted open. So... She's lame for starting that fight. She got her ass beat. She looks stupid. Um, watching it back, I kind of think, you know, Teresa told me the next day that, you know, the whole fight was instigated and, you know, Jazz didn't think that and da-da-da, whatever, because her and Jazz were, like, real close and always talked. But I just think it was kind of weird that, like, I feel like Teresa should have stuck up for me. Not necessarily because I needed her to, but, like, you know, Mimi and Tiana are saying one thing. Dad, stop. <laughs> Steph believes it, too. Teresa knows the whole situation. She was the one that covered Jazz. I paid for the cab ride, and she covered Jazz in the club. And um, I just think that Teresa should have maybe stepped in and been like, no, I already paid it. Like, Sarah wasn't supposed to. Dad, stop. Sarah wasn't supposed to pay it, and da-da-da, whatever else. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not mad at her, but I think she should have said at least 
a little something to like defend me, just to defend the whole situation, to tell the truth basically. But um, yeah, I guess that's it. I mean, the whole show is about me. It was the S O show. And you know, you saw my cute little Kiko at the very beginning. He's so cute. Kiko is done with his chemo. June, no, July 13th, he finished his last 18 treatment chemo protocol for lymphoma. So he's good now, and um, dad's still an idiot. I'm still here. He still doesn't have a job, and he still goes dumpster diving. I do it all. What else is new in your life? I don't know. I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> He gets his tooth pulled. He got a king snake last week. He got rid of it. Well, and um, that's really well, about it. Fun. Good night, y'all. You don't want to say nothing? Good next time. He's so boring right now. Good next time. So I, boring. I worked my ass off today. Look at my Kiko bear. Oh, this is this the cutest dog? You, oh, sorry, baby. The cutest dog you've ever seen in your entire life. He's so sweet. It's my past husband. My past husband. This is my dad. Stop, my ex. Dad, stop for real. Cause that dog, that snake bites. That snake's from the woods. It's a wild snake, and it actually bites people. It bites him in the face, and he laughs about it. They don't bite me. Kiko doesn't like it either. She loves me. All right, we're leaving. So yeah, make sure you keep voting um, on the oxygen poll that Sarah is the baddest bad girl, and you know I'm winning 46% votes right now. So hey, thank you all my Twitter fans and so Team Sarah people. Dad, stop. Okay. Um, Good night. You do not contribute shit to this conversation. <laughs> I will next time. Good Can night. Can you turn yeah. off the camera? Let's see how smart he is. Turn off the camera, Dad. Press the red button. Get out the front of the camera and go around the back. There is no red button. Okay. Go around the back of the camera. We're going night-night, Kiko. I see a There's red dot. There's a red dot. record button. Bye, guys. Bye.